Me Too Fighting Series fans, this amateur bantamweight fight is set for three three-minute rounds. Fighting first out of the B2 digital blue corner. Tonight in the B2 Fighting Series cage, making his amateur debut. His height, 5 feet, 11 inches. His weight, 135 pounds. He trains with black cells and fights out of Jackson, Mississippi. His name is Patrick Duh! And his opponent, fighting out of the one more gym red corner. His record stands at zero wins, one loss. His height. Five feet, eight inches. His weight, 133 pounds. He trains with Gills Garage and fights out of Grovetown, Georgia. His name is Johnny Hippie Cowboy Gill. I love it. He's just such a peculiar young man. Oh, we're doing this for the first fight of the night, huh? He's a unique character, man. You know, but he, he's a good kid. The ref is going over the rules with the fighters right now. Not sure I've ever seen that. That's what a rules meeting is for, right, Andy? That is right. But I guess he feels like, hey, half the fighters don't pay attention to the rules meeting, so I'm going to go ahead and give him second instruction. Here Fair we enough. go. Look at that jab already starting out with Patrick Dodd. Johnny's going to have to get underneath that jab, man, or, or get inside it anyway. Oh, nice. Right hand just barely missed for Dodd yeah, there. Good. Oh, see, there you go. Good wrestling by Johnny. Good takedown off the leg kick there. It did not look like Dodd was very prepared to sprawl on that shot. No, and he didn't set up that take or that, that leg kick either, and that's exactly how Johnny scored this takedown. And Dodd. let's see what Johnny can do. Let's see how good Patrick Dodd's guard is. He's so tall. I'm, I would think he's probably got some really good triangles and arm bars. Oh, there he goes, Johnny Gill. Ground and pound there, there for is. Johnny Gill. And, of course, this is Mississippi, and, I mean, here in Mississippi, amateurs can elbow to the head. I mean, this is insane, the yeah, rule set here. 100%. I mean, as amateur, it's a pro, it's a pro rule set. Johnny's got to be careful of this triangle here. He's doing a good job of passing in north-south now. Look, man, Patrick Dodd is not staying still. He's trying to he's trying to yeah. improve his position. Johnny's just a magnet on him, man. Good hips, really strong wrestler as we're seeing right now. Yeah, and, and mixing in those strikes when he can, but not giving up position. He's really underneath the neck. Rear naked he's attempt here for neck. Johnny Gill. Dodd's trying to fight the hands. Man, he's underneath. Oh, this Dodd's might be it. Yeah, sleep. Dodd taps, and Johnny Gill moves to one and one, his first amateur victory as he upsets Patrick Dodd here in his hometown of Jackson, Mississippi. Hey, man, look how dominant Johnny Gill looked. He said he was ready for this fight. Like you said, he took this fight only on a two-week notice. Very dominant, great takedown, and it didn't go anywhere else. And he was very aggressive, had some really strong shots, opened up that rear naked. Great job by Johnny Gill. And look, let's talk about this. The guy didn't have a bad weight cut. He waited at 133. He could probably hit 125, to be honest with you. I guarantee it he could. He's probably got that in him. What a performance here tonight for Johnny Gill, the hippie cowboy. Look at this Look. replay, Ray Roll, I was telling you about the strong hips. Nice ground and pound to get that rear naked choke in. Great job. Great job by Johnny Gill here tonight. Patrick Dodd, unfortunately, dropping his amateur debut. And he's going to find himself at 0-1 and, and look to get back on track with a win. And that's what these guys are chasing, that coveted first amateur victory that Johnny Gill got right now. Now, you see, he doesn't quite look like he's over the moon right now, but I promise you, inside, there's no better feeling. No, man, he's, he's stacked up. And to be honest, besides my kids being born, that's the best feeling in the world. Absolutely. All right, Lance Green makes his way in the cage. Let's wrap this one up. Here's Lance. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Freddie Griswold, has brought a stop to this fight. One minute and 25 seconds into round number one. Your winner, by way of tap out, due to rear naked choke, out of the one more gym red corner, Johnny Hippie Cowboy Gill. And the Hippie Cowboy moves to one and one, 500 in his amateur career. 
Hey guys, we are backstage at B2FS 150, and this right here is the winner of our first fight of the night, flyweight amateur Johnny Gills, the hippie cowboy. Man, this is your first win. How do you feel? Man, it feels good. Uh, finally, you know, after all the hard work and stuff and small detours along the road, you know, I was ready. I was ready to come in and get a W. Now I'm ready to go back, celebrate, celebrate with my family, my newborn baby girl. So, yeah, it was for her. It was for her. You know, seeing you yesterday, you were saying how you're always ready, you're always fit, and you took this fight on two weeks' notice. How did you prepare and feel confident getting in the cage tonight after just two weeks' notice? Um, you know, i not cocky, but I always feel pretty confident in myself. It's just more of getting in shape this last two weeks now and just letting my skills show for themselves, you know? Well, you have to be very confident because your walkout song is Girls Want to Have Fun. How did you come up with that song? And that's that's my go-to song and a way to practice every day. That's what that's what motivates me to get up and uh, go go hit the hit the mats, you know. So. That's my song. That's so it's your song. Do you have a dance to go along with that song? Hey, maybe next time. My my man's back there. He'll <laughs> he'll make a dance for me. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome, Johnny. You have so much energy and enthusiasm to be in the cage, and we love seeing you fight. So congratulations on your victory tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely.